What makes a good anime? Is it the animation, the story, or is it something more? While many anime fans will argue till the sun sets what makes a good anime series, we always believe that the ending is what makes the series memorable. A good ending can save even a mediocre show by giving you the conclusion you need to feel as if your time wasn't wasted on a pointless series. At number 10 we have Dusk Maiden of Amnesia. Many schools harbor ghost stories, but often they can be debunked with a little sleuthing. That's what Teichi Nia and his club of occult hunters seek to do. However, one ghost story of a girl named Yuko is all too real. Due to his sixth sense of sorts, Teichi can interact and see Yuko and aims to learn the past of this very cute ghost girl. Teichi will soon learn though that some ghost stories don't have happy endings and can be truly horrible. Tosagari Otome X Amnesia is one of those strange stories that is bittersweet, but sticks with you for years. We loved how the ending made you truly feel for the characters you've come to know and your desire happiness for Yuko as well as Teichi. Does Tasugari Otome X Amnesia end with tears or smiles? We won't spoil that and suggest you check it out for yourself, though have some tissues nearby for sure. At number 9 we have Carol and Tuesday. Long ago Mars was thought to be an uninhabitable planet, but now has become almost Earth-like. In Alaba City, a young woman named Carol works her days and lets her keyboard skills show at night. Meanwhile, Tuesday has fled her home, tired of her wealthy life, and seeks to show the world her guitar skills. These two musical women soon collide and their paths in life bind together. With their talents, can they show the musical world the power of Carol and Tuesday? Carol and Tuesday is one of the best recent musical series and we watched it weekly, wondering what was in store next for our talented duo. When the final episode aired and the last epic performance hits our screens, chills were sent down our spines. That's right folks, Carol and Tuesday had a wonderful finale that truly worked with how the series ebbed and flowed. If you missed out on this musical series, fix that immediately. In number 8 we have Astro Lost in Space. The year is 2063 and space has become just another road for us to travel. No longer are we stuck to one planet, we now can travel freely through the galaxies. Airy Spring, a young woman about to attend a camp on the planet of Mikpah finds her first day not so eventful. Eri's purse is taken by a thief but is retrieved by Kanata Hoshijama. The two find themselves united further when a sphere appears in the camp teleporting them to an unknown location in space. Now a camping excursion is a battle for survival as several others join them being stranded in space. Kanata no Astra is a truly great space themed series that aired in the summer of 2019 and even now we think back on its epic conclusion. The characters we wanted to come out on top mostly did. We won't say who lives or possibly dies. And the ending we hoped for actually came to fruition. Kanata no Astra didn't receive a lot of fanfare in 2019 despite it being so much fun and we hope having it on our list will rectify that a bit. Definitely check out Kanata no Astra for an ending that will make you smile and leave you with that completed feeling. At number 7 we have Torador. If you're a seasoned anime fan, you have encountered innumerable entries to the high school rom-com genre. Many are cheap and sloppy, full of two-dimensional characters and hollow drama. There's little satisfaction to be had watching socially awkward teens dance around their emo feelings for 12 to 24 episodes without providing any meaningful closure. But don't despair, because Toradora is here to restore our faith in anime, humanity, and true love stories. The story revolves around Ryuji and Taiga, two ordinary students that end up working together in order to help one another end up with the ones they love. It stays pretty true to the love story formula. What makes this anime really good is the excellent pacing it takes with the story. In many school life anime, we always end up watching filler style episodes, only to have the end of the series be the only good thing about it. Not so for Toradora, however. It manages to keep the anticipation between the potential couples high, all along weaving together a pretty good in-depth story that really shows the heart of the characters. I love this story from start to finish. Character development is off the charts and the humor keeps the story interesting when it starts to slow down a bit. You need to watch the after credits, otherwise you will be incredibly depressed. This show really becomes something else in the last couple episodes. Episodes 20 through 25 are like an incredibly different show and it will hurt your heart a lot. I promise you will not be disappointed by Toradora. At number 6 we have Parasite. The story set up in a realistic world where an unknown organism is invading Earth and takes over the human bodies. And by pure accident, one of those organisms is trying to enter into someone's body, a body of a sleeping boy named Shinichi Izumi, but that organism can only take over Shinichi's hand. The incident created a bizarre creature that lives eventually in Shinichi's right hand. 
Meanwhile, other organisms that successfully take over a human animal body is starting to attack the civilians secretly and eat them. With that fact, Shinichi decided to fight other ruthless parasites with Migi's help. A heartwarming tale of ruthless murder, senseless violence, and the timeless love shared between a man and his right hand. There's an odd charm about watching a bumbling teenage protagonist suddenly sprout eyeballs on random locations over his body, or seeing a man's head suddenly morph into a dozen razor sharp knives. This show offers some poignant insights into the human condition and what it means to be alive. It certainly is entertaining all around and a real roller coaster of emotion. Oh, Parasite, I can't quit you. At number 5, we have Onahana, the flower we saw that day. The story follows a high school dropout named Jintan. The anime being when he starts to have hallucinations of his childhood crush, Menma, who died in an accident when he was young. A couple of years later, she comes back to the living world and explains to Jintan that she cannot be reincarnated because her dying wish has not been granted. Now it's up to Jintan to reunite with his old childhood friends who have gone their separate ways since Menma's death and fulfill her wish. Onohana is one of those rare animes that takes a genre that's often misused by anime creators or hated by the community and makes it right. It will have you start feeling for the characters from episode 1 and may even have you in tears in the first episode, but I guarantee you that you will be hit hard by the time the series ends. I even start to feel like crying simply by thinking about this anime. And number 4, we have Death Note. The power to take life is something no man or woman should ever have. Light Yagame, unfortunately, obtains such power in the form of a powerful book known as the Death Note. Dropped into our world by the strange Shinigami Ryuk, Light begins to use this book to kill those he deems unworthy to live in this world. And as his death count grows, a detective known as L begins to investigate Light to see if he can find the so-called Kira. A battle of wit begins while the world watches unaware. Death Note. Few haven't heard of the series, and that's for good reason. Even after 13 years, Death Note continues to be considered one of the best anime of all time. That is also due to that truly powerful and all too satisfying ending. Light by the end has already established himself as a self-made god, but does his hubris last against the forces that want him taken down? Find out by checking out Death Note if you haven't already. At number 3, we have Gurren Laga. The story revolves around humanity, struggling against enemies known as the Beastmen, who use Mecha to annihilate all the humans on the surface. The story is really simple with no need for complications as it follows several people, including Simone, Kamina, and Yoko, who stand up and fight. As the story goes on, the people get stronger and their numbers grow larger, and even after some major turning points, it never loses its focus. Nonetheless, the story may be too simple for its own good, yet this still doesn't change the fact that the anime is pure entertainment, having no dull moments, but is always full of action and laughs. I can't stop singing the song, and the ending is so amazing that I think I might just cry. If you want action, we got it all. If you want romance, you got it. If you want galactic scale battles, we got it all. If you have never seen this anime, well, prepare your butt, because it's about to get pierced with Simone's drill. Number two, we have Your Lie in April. The piano used to be Kosei Arima's whole life. Despite the troubles he had from his strict mother, Arima was destined for greatness as a pianist. That dream dies one day though, leaving Arima unable to hear the sweet music he created and throwing his life back towards simpler things. Now older, Arima meets a young, strange woman named Kaori Miyazuna, who wishes to utilize Arima's piano playing abilities. Can the young pianist regain what he lost so long ago? Sometimes the most satisfying ending isn't one we see coming. Your Lie in April pulled off an incredibly shocking finale that left us stunned for years to come. Not only did we predict what would happen, but the events that did unfold left us speechless. Our emotions were tested when Your Lie in April ended, and we guarantee we aren't the only ones that felt this way. And in number one we have Cowboy Bebop. Space, long ago, was known to be nothing but emptiness and filled with mystery. In 2071, space is chock full of bandits, people with dreams of a brighter future, and pioneers seeking treasures not yet discovered. With such people venturing in space, Law enforcement has come to rely on bounty hunters like the Bebop crew. Spike Spiegel is one of the Bebop members and alongside his partner, Jet Black, the duo take down bounties to fill their ship and their bellies. Though Spike's past always haunts him, and as he takes down various foes, it inches ever closer. Cowboy Bebop is one of those shows that almost every generation can love, filled with action, comedy, and wicked music. 
Cowboy Bebop is just all around incredible. The ending, however, is what really sets the series apart, dividing viewers as they wonder what truly became of our main bounty hunter. Even if you grew up watching anime in the newer age, we still recommend checking out this timeless classic. There are hundreds of good anime series out there with amazing endings, and we know damn well that we might have missed some. What other endings do you think deserve to be on this list? Be sure to comment them down below, and also, consider becoming a patron if you like to support our content. I love making these videos for you, so it would really help us out a lot. Don't forget to like, share, and definitely don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.